Hey guys and welcome back. We have breaking your castinated transfer news. A player that was quite literally speaking about just a couple of short hours ago on my last upload. The Telegraph has posted an article out. In the headline it states the castinated set to sign Harvey Barnes. Out wide player at Leicester City. Quite literally the tent will be going back out outside the training ground. Well you just got it in yesterday from Tenardi. will be going back out again for Harvey Barnes. Uh, Someone that I do like a lot. I've seen mixed force from the Castanated fans who are going to discuss that side of things in this video and what's actually been said in the article. And secondly, quite literally just a few minutes. No boy. Just a few short minutes after uploading my video, we had a uh, breaking news about a seller cup being announced at St. James's Park. Five games for £55. We're getting to that again in just a sec. But first off, guys, welcome back. If you're new around here and you like what you watch, make sure you get down there. Hit that subscribe button so whenever breaking transfer news like this comes out, you can see it as soon as it comes on the channel. And as I said in my last video as well, take this with a massive pinch of salt. I was talking about the possibility of the Castanet misleading and lying to the media and in terms you see reports like this coming on just remember Nicolo Borella I think that was the big one Borella and Newcastle are set the same we're set to go on form it just never materialised so definitely keep a close eye on this one but it looks good and realistically on paper this is definitely a player I can see Newcastle United signing a player that's valued about 30 to 35 million pounds he scored more goals than any out wide player for Newcastle Again, just like James Madison, it's a player that plays for Leicester City. He has to leave in this transfer window. It's a bit of a no-brainer for us, I think, especially for the, the value you can get this player in for. So this is definitely realistic, I will say that. But before we get into that article, I'll quickly get through the Seller Cup first because I didn't get a chance to mention it due to the fact my video came out before that. So the Seller Cup got announced, as I said earlier, five games for £55. So it is that four-team tournament which we discussed a couple of weeks ago. And there's a women's game in there as well now. Some Newcastle fans I imagine on social media are probably looking at and start whinging going, oh, £55 for pre-season friendlies. And obviously, I, I only want to go to Newcastle games. I don't want to go to the women's game. I don't want to go to the Nice Florentina game and just start whinging about your matches. But it's actually quite a good move from the club, despite the fact it is the Seller Cup. It also heavily encourages fans to watch foreign teams play. It encourages fans to watch the women's team play because whether you like it or not, you're paying for all those games. So some fans are probably going, you know what, I'm just going to stay here and watch the game. And that's kind of the point. The club wants you to watch these different teams and want you to watch the women's team. And it's an interesting chance there for fans that maybe don't care about those to actually just sit back and just relax and enjoy themselves. And that's a lot of football, man. I mean, it starts at half 12 on Saturday and then the women's game starts at 6 o'clock. So you're going to be there like eight hours. Like, that's a long time in St. James' part now. I'm pretty sure you can come in and out the stadium. I'd be shocked if you can't, considering the fact that, let's be honest, some of Newcastle fans were only going for the second game. So it definitely will be a case where you can go in and out the stadium. But eight hours in St. James' Park on that Saturday, you definitely get your money's worth. I think £55 for the five matches is actually quite a good deal. So well done to the club on that. As for Harvey Barnes, let's be honest, that's why you're watching this video. So what has the Telegraph said? Is it actually going to be a set the same moment? Now, from what I've read, it does sound quite good. So they've said that Harvey Barnes has agreed personal terms with Johnny Castle, meaning the player wants to play for us. The player's happy with whatever wage we're offering him. It's a case now where Newcastle is trying to agree a deal with Leicester City for £35 million. So again, it definitely is a massive take with a pinch of salt moment. We've seen with Barella, things were going well there. All of a sudden, nothing materialises from it. And it gets reported a couple weeks later that it just didn't exist at whatsoever. So it can't be an occasion again where it's a case with Newcastle United are trying to send the media in one direction while they swerve in a different one completely, as I mentioned in my previous video. But this one sounds quite good. It definitely sounds advanced. It sounds like one of them ones, if the Telegraph is correct, where I think Newcastle are going to get this one done by the sounds of it. Obviously, the player wants to join us. Leicester City are no position to bargain with us, really. The player has to leave in this transfer window. He'd rather play for us than West Ham, sounding from what the article says. Again, we, we don't really know exactly what's going on, but it's a case where the Telegraph's kind of put the message out there. If it's must be wrong, then people are just going to stop listening to them entirely. So I think it's fair to give them the benefit of the doubt for now, agree with them for now. And if obviously the likes of Romano, Austin, Sky Sports, then cut a dick what they said, that's when we've got a bit of an issue. But this one looks good. I think Newcastle definitely are targeting out wide players. I think it is a realistic sign. It's one that I do think is believable. And for us, well, I know people might want the likes of Diaby or Chiesa in, but listen, not every player has to be a 10 out of 10 sign. It's just about getting the correct ones in. 
Harvey Barnes, I think, is someone that in a better team will become a better player. And I like him. I think he's someone that is going to make us better. And I think he'll make himself better by playing with better players. So, we'll see how this one go uh, goes. But so far, so good is what I will say. Again, I'm reacting to this one on the spot. So, if anything contradicts afterwards, then obviously I'm not aware of it. I'm only reporting on what the exclusive articles came out and said. All Newcastle fans are talking about it. So, obviously, for me, I've kind of got to address it to you guys in the video. But let me you know your thoughts down below. I appreciate you watching. Harvey Barnes, what do you think about him? And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the Newcastle vs. Sunderland charity match. How are the mags? It's battered him.